Hey everybody, I'm just looking at a couple cool ways to be able to incorporate the modulator into some more traditional styles of like rock music, pop music, but looking at drums and bass particular today, just looking at a couple different kind of creative uses. And you can see I've got a bunch of these open right now. Let's come through and look at the drums first. I have four of them currently on here right now. And what I wanna do, let's actually come through and just close them all for a moment. V's the keyboard shortcut just to hide all the windows, but once you open one of them back up, they all come back. So here's the drums, and right now I've got something on the kick, on the tuning. So I've got one of our modulators here coming down to the drum kick. So you can see it's just wobbling that tuning just a little bit. So it adds a little variation to the kick drum, just a small amount as it's playing any different pattern. So that's the first one I've got going. The next one here, we have going to another one of them. Let's see, I think this one is going out to the hi-hat. And so you can see it's more of a sample and hold randomizer. And I've got the output level pushed up, but the offset pulled down. That means it's going to stay within a certain range here. I'm using this a lot. I'm setting the tempo first and then adjusting the output and the offset to get it just where I want it. So with this, so with dampening, it's just talking about how long it's ringing out. That gives a little bit more humanized feel to it. Then I've got another one here. And I believe this one is set to do dampening on the snare. Again, just humanizes it just a little bit more so you get more of a feel of a real drummer pounding away at that. And I'm not sure, right now this one isn't being used at all, so I just have an extra one ready for another thing. So that's the kick so far, the kit, I should say. And now with this, I've got just a single modulator on here but it's not doing the LFO, it's doing an envelope. So the LFO is the more cyclical of the two, it just is the pattern that repeats, and we choose one of the four wave forms here, the shapes. And with the envelope, we have our attack, our hold, delay, and release. And with this one, I'm using the envelope, and I've attached it to an equalizer on the actual bass. And so now, Anytime the bass is played, that trigger just softens up the beginning of the notes a little bit. There's other ways to accomplish similar things, but I do like how we're using an equalizer to open that up as it goes rather than some of the other tools that we have. So between the two of these, Just a lot of nuances now that we have more control over all of our instruments and interesting and yet still everything is sunk to the tempo and it's all lining up. It's actually a really cool way to continue the manipulation and the, I don't know, transfiguration of all of our instruments in ways that we want to do creatively. Okay, now I want to show you just how I did all of the connections. I've showed this in other videos, but if you're seeing this for the very first time, I want to show you just the process of making these connections. So I have this fourth one right now on the kit, and right now it's not attached to anything. Now this works for either one. This is where you choose the destination. And so if I wanted to do this here with uh, the LFO, let's come over to our kit, 
and perhaps do a little bit with the tuning on this. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to say learn plugin parameter. And then I'm going to click on the plugin parameter that I want to have manipulated. And so that's how you get that to work just like that. Now, one other point that's really important to understand is that the modulator can only be attached to things that are on the same channel strip that are below it in the chain. So for instance, this modulator right here could attach to the drum, any of the effects, but it could not attach to different effects that are above it. Now, in some cases, you could actually attach one modulator to a second modulator to a third modulator, but they'd have to go the first one and have to go down to the next one and then down to the one after that. So that's how this is going to work, and that's how functionally you actually make these assignments. Cool. Okay, that's all we're going to show you. Hope you're having a great week, and we will do more videos soon.